Hold on, guys. <laughs> I can't. I, I'll ruin the surprise. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to ruin the surprise because the whole art project that we're working on today is my chair. <laughs> didn't think about that ahead of time. I should have filmed like before and then after, but we're doing it now. Can you tell I'm a little unorganized right now? And the main reason I am so unorganized is we are currently in the middle of moving. Not just to a new apartment or anything, we are moving to a house, so it's been a lot to deal with. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, things have been kind of put on pause, especially my work, until we can deal with this. But I wanted to do just a fun little project with you guys and give you a little bit of an update on what's going on, because I've been kind of MIA. But yeah, I'm alive <laughs> and hopefully I should be back kind of with a functioning art room by February. And then we can start working on live streams, videos, and all of that fun stuff. Um, but until then, I'm just panically trying to put things in boxes and dealing with trying to get into the new house. <laughs> I did have enough time for a fun little project that I've been kind of putting off because I had so many other things going on and... Now I have no other art projects, so I just kind of decided to throw this one together. <laughs> and it is my chair. So I've been needing to reupholster this chair for a while. I did the seat once, it kind of lasted for a little bit, and then it re-cracked. So we're going to be doing that again, and then I figured let's decorate it and kind of have it fit along with the rest of my little setup. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is figure out where I'm going to be adding our fake like plant material to my chair. I know I need to cover up the seat because it's all cracked and messed up, but I also have an armrest that needs to be covered too because that's starting to crack as well. But see, if I just cover up those two areas, it's going to kind of look a little weird. So I think what I'm going to do is take a photo of my chair and just throw it into my drawing software and just kind of mess around and see what I like. Now I want to add a bunch of plant material to the backing of the chair, that way it can be seen in camera, but my problem is there really isn't anything wrong with the back of my chair, so I don't feel like stitching directly on it. So I think with the design of that, I'm going to try and have it where I stitch the fabric through the holes in the backing so I don't have to end up messing up the leather because there's literally nothing wrong with the leather. Now besides just adding chunks of moss, I think I want to have little dangly pieces of the moss and then I thought adding a bit of color would be cool, so I'm going to throw in some mushrooms. I haven't fully decided what color I want the mushrooms, so I just went with a basic, like, almost glow-in-the-dark color. Once I like what I have drawn out, I'm then going to start working on making the patterns. So all of these are going to be just kind of roughly sketched out by using paper and just laying it out on the chair. For the cushion, I am going to be using fabric just because it's such a large area. I didn't want to tape paper together, and I figured it would just work better. So I'm just going to use a scrap piece of fabric, and I'm going to trace around the spot that I'm going to be covering up. With the paper patterns, I didn't have a lot of issues with the arm of the chair. It was pretty pretty basic. I just laid it over and sketched out where I wanted chunks to go. I decided to cover up sections that weren't cracked just to make it look a little bit more organic, but in the same time making sure that all the other cracks are covered. With the backing of the chair, it was a little bit more difficult because I had to work around the curve, so I had to figure out how to make the pattern curve around the shape of the chair. So I kind of did a little bit here and there, I had to adjust it a couple times, but I think it'll work, plus the fabric I'm using is kind of stretchy, so it should be fine. Thank you. 
After I figured out the main chunky bits of the moss, I'm then going to move on to dangly bits. I think I want a little on the back of the chair, one section of the arm because there's just nothing on this arm, and then I'm going to do some right underneath the cushion. Once I have all my pattern pieces figured out, I'm going to take the fabric that I'm going to use and I'm going to trace around all my patterns to get everything cut out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the back of the chair and then just work my way down because by the time I get to the cushion I need to basically disassemble the chair to be able to sew it in place and I'm just kind of not ready to take my chair apart right now. So how I set up the pieces that we're adding to the back of the chair, they're pretty much mirrored. So they have a left and a right. So I cut out the one side and then I just pinned it to the fabric and cut out the other side of fabric. And we're just going to be sewing around majority of these. Some of them have sections where I need to cut away and restitch, kind of like this little uh, Pac-Man mouth on one side. We're gonna end up using that to flip it right side out and then we'll stitch it closed. But once we have these pieces pretty much assembled, I'm going to lightly stuff them. I'm not going to overstuff them because I do have to have them wrap around the section of the chair. And if I overstuff them, it's going to make the fabric stretch too much. So I'm going to just lightly do that and then I'm going to stitch them around the section that I want them on the chair. Now at this point our chair has some pretty cool looking shoulder pads, granted they're not even, <laughs> but they're, if you notice, they're just a little too smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on making these lumpier. And one thing that I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to cut random chunks of the fabric and we're going to stitch them in place in random spots, just trying to shape them the way we want them. So we're going to stitch the fabric in place and then we'll stuff that section and then close it up. And I'll just do a bunch of different sections here and there. And then if I want to kind of make the fabric dimple more, I can take my needle and thread and just kind of stitch the fabric in different places as well to kind of pull it in. There really isn't any method to this madness. I'm just adding lumps and uh, divots and stuff where I feel like it looks the best. I'm just going to keep messing with it until I like it and then what we'll end up doing is one of our chair's shoulder pads needs some dangly bits. So I'm going to start working on getting those stitched up too. So we're going to work on our dangly bits and then we're also going to be working on the one arm that we need to cover up the cracks with. So with that section they're all just little chunks that we're going to lay out, pretty simple. So let's get started on the dangly bits. I have them basically pinned together like all the other pieces and we're going to take our sewing machine and sew around all these little strips. So before we move on to doing the arms of the chair, I'm going to get my little dangly bits added to one of my shoulder pads. So I'm going to get that in place, and then the arm that has all the cracks, I'm going to lay out my chunks where I want them, and I'm going to stitch around where they're going to connect. 
leaving just a little bit open so I can stuff them lightly and then close them up. So I'm going to do that to all three of the little pieces that I want on one arm, and then I have more dangly uh, things that I want to add to the other arm. So I'm going to get that stitched in place too. Okay, so now we just need to cover up our seat. So I have that pattern already sketched out on the one piece of fabric, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some padding to it as well. I'm not just gonna cover it up in this one fabric. So I'm gonna add some layers of fleece in between these two pieces of fabric, the outer layer that we're gonna have all mossy, and then our pattern piece. Um, two reasons I'm doing this. One, I don't really want to feel the cover fabric sliding against the broken up leather underneath. Um, you'll definitely feel it move around. And two, uh, I would like some more cushion for my tushy. <laughs> okay, so I have all my layers laid out and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch all of these together right where we have the shape laid out. So I'm just going to follow the markings that I have drawn onto the back fabric. And this will help when it comes to adding all of this to the chair. We can just add it all at once and we don't have to worry about fabric bunching up underneath one another. Okay, so let's get our chair taken apart so we can start adding our cushion. So I'm gonna disassemble where the arms are connected. I'm gonna try and leave the arms still connected to the back of the chair just to make adding them back on easier. So I'm gonna disconnect that and then I'm just gonna turn the chair around and disconnect the backing from the seat. So it's pretty simple. Um, after that, what we're going to do is I've actually reupholstered this already once. I did a really simple job where I put fake leather over it so that has already split just like the um, original seat so <laughs> I'm gonna remove that extra fabric just so we don't have it so I'm gonna cut all of that loose and you can see what the chair used to look like it's pretty bad I miss having all the cool markings on it but for a time it didn't have a huge crack in the seat <laughs> So adding the cushion, I've left it pretty simple. I'm gonna lay it out on the chair and I'm just gonna stitch all the way around it until it's completely attached at the seams. And I'm just kinda using that blue trim as a guide for where I'm stitching it. I didn't really wanna cover that up. I thought it would look really cool to still keep it. And then after we have the cushion in place, we can put our chair back together. Now, I really liked how it looked, but it was missing stuff. Like I said, I kind of wanted to throw on some mushrooms. And at first, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to make the mushrooms out of, but I'm just going to leave it simple. We're going to make some cute plush mushrooms to attach to the backing of the chair. 
So I left the mushrooms pretty simple. We're going to make the head of the mushroom just out of a circle. So to get two different sizes, I ended up taking some jars and I used the mouth of the jar and I traced around it. So I'm just going to make a bunch of them. I am going to randomly place them so I want to make sure I have a good amount. Um, I cut out all of these circles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around the circle and pull it tight. When we pull it tight, we'll add a little bit of stuffing to it. With the uh, three that I decided to make that are slightly larger, I took my needle and thread and I kind of stitched around the edge of it to just adjust the shape a little bit more, try and make it flatten out a bit more because once I uh, put it together, it was a little rounder than I wanted it to be. The other ones I didn't have that much issue with. Now for the stem of the mushroom, um, I think I need them roughly about two inches. Um, we'll probably adjust them to where they'll be random, but I want to make sure I have about two inches for each mushroom to work with. And I have nine mushrooms, so I'm going to make a strip of fabric that's about 18 inches long. And we're just going to fold that over and sew it along that length with the sewing machine. Then I'm just going to cut it into our nine sections, flip them right side out, and we can stitch them to the underside of the head of the mushroom. We'll add a little bit of stuffing to the stem of the mushroom and then we can start adding them to the backing of the chair. Again, I'm trying to add them really randomly so that they look organic. So I'm just kind of doing one at a time and slowly adjusting how I want them to lay out on the chair. Now at first I wasn't quite sure if I would need to add wiring to the stems of the mushroom so that they could stand up, but thankfully they're small enough to where they're just kind of holding their shape as is with just stitching them in place. So thankfully I didn't have to deal with that. I like the idea of them just being all plush behind me without any wires. Okay guys, and here is my finished chair. I've got all the little mushrooms and moss bits. I think it looks really cute. I can't wait to stream with it in the background. Again, I'm gonna have to wait because I probably won't be starting back up until about February. I believe we're closing on the house mid-January. So hopefully by February, I'll be fully moved in and I can actually start doing my stuff again. <laughs> But yeah, I'll try to keep you guys um, up to date if things change or anything like that. Um, again, I can't really do anything else other than deal with the move right now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was something simple, but I hope it was fun to watch. And yeah, I will do my best to get more videos out as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!